Hey, hey, fam. Thank y'all so much for being here with me, tuning in and tapping in. Y'all already know who and what it is, so let's just go ahead and tap in and spirit get this tea for y'all real quick. See what's really going on in this general collective energy. Because I ain't going to even lie to you. As soon as I sat down and got ready to push the record button, it's like I got a real anxious feeling. I don't know what that's about. It's just like anxious, like butterflies in my stomach, like a little nervous. But yeah. But anywho, y'all already know, whatever come out in the message is general. So please take what resonates from it and leave the rest. Also, fam, the messages are always timeless. So whenever you come across the message, that's exactly when spirit has it for you. To all the subscribers and members of the channel, thank y'all so much for rocking and rolling with me. I greatly do appreciate it. Even if you're not subscribed or a member, I thank you so much for, you know, just coming and viewing the message. I greatly appreciate you spending some of your time with me. I hope everyone is doing well wherever you are in this crazy ass world. I'm hearing rest well, like uh, get some sleep because I feel like somebody's having trouble sleeping here. So yeah, that might be where that nervous feeling is coming from. Yeah, Aries. Somebody could also be an Earth sign, Virgo, Capricorn, or a Taurus. Yeah, success is right there. That's what I'm saying. Whatever it is you worried about, fam, or stressed about, go on and give that to the Most High. Because they waiting to sort it out for you. I just want you to get some rest. Yeah, because something is weighing heavy on somebody's mind as well as their heart. I feel like this is something that's ha happened several times. If this is something romantic. Yeah, I feel like somebody is trying their best to control their emotions. I even heard contain. Yeah. Somebody feel like somebody snaked them all the way out. Like, what's that about? Yeah, we throw that Taurus with the Hierophant. Yeah, somebody... <laughs> Let me ask y'all a question. Are y'all calling for justice on something? Are y'all calling, uh, calling judgment on somebody or something like that? What did they do? Because whatever it is, I feel like somebody is in their emotions about it. Still... But let's get into this, fam. Whatever it is, I hope it gets sorted out. Because this is a... I, I don't like the energy here. Yeah, the three of cups at the bottom of the deck. And then it, most, it will be sorted out. Yeah, heavy Aries energy coming through here. With the Emperor. And then we get the four of pentacles right here. Power. So, uh, I don't know who you are going through some type of child custody case here. Yeah, but most high wants you to call on him. Yeah, nine of pentacles. Rest easy here. I don't know if it's like uh, if this is some type of financial situation here. Yeah, it could be an air sign or an earth sign. Most high just wants you to know that they got you. Y'all heard cut it out. That's that's what I'm saying. I don't know what this energy is that y'all are in or going through, but most high like no, I didn't give you the spirit of worry or fear. Yeah, we get the two of pentacles right here, the eight of swords, the ten of cups, and then we get the knight of discs. Is somebody in their head? About uh when their person is going to come. When is it going to be their time. Things like that. I heard someone is getting older. Let me see if I can turn this down. It's just bothering me. I don't even know what song is good. Let's see what song is it. Because it's annoying me. Okay, fam, sorry about that. Somebody is worried about their weight. Somebody's worried about their money. Somebody is worried about when their person is going to actually enter their life. Yeah, it's your thoughts. Your, it's like something about the way that you think. Somebody's worried about if they're ever going to have a baby. Most I want you to just give it to them and let them sort it out. Yeah, high priestess right here. Somebody is also wondering why somebody had to be so mean or cruel or do something the way that they did it. 
and I feel like this is causing somebody to possibly overeat, undereat. But it's damn show sure stressing out and overthinking her. Yeah, no, nah, it's not. It's not even. That's that. I'm sorry, y'all. This this is annoying me for some reason. I have no idea why that's annoying me today. I'm always uh. I always have Pandora on <laughs> when I'm reading, so I don't know why it's annoying me. I guess because I usually have it on the TV, and I don't usually have it on the phone right here walking her so good. Because I can't do that right there, child. That's, that's annoying the hell out of me. I ain't lying to you. But let's get back into this reading. Ooh, child, that was annoying the hell out of me. Okay, yeah, it's a lot of things going on. Yeah, strength. I'm hearing something about your character as well. See, somebody got to understand with the strength card right here to the four of pentacles, to the nine of pentacles, it really do feel like you intimidated the shit out of somebody. So that's what this is. It's giving off like strong, independent male or female energy here. And somebody, it feels like somebody got a little intimidated. And that's possibly why things slowed down. Yeah. Because I see somebody wondering if it's something that they said. Is it the way that they look? Things like that. It has nothing to do with that. It has something to do with the 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 strength, the power that you carry. Like, I don't know. <laughs> Some of y'all could even be divine feminists, but right now you're in like uh, masculine energy. It's time for you to step back into your feminine energy here. But I'm just saying you shouldn't have to compromise, you know, who you are, how you feel it to fit somebody else's um description of who they think you should be or how they feel like you should act hold on y'all what the hell is going on on her okay y'all sorry about that all of a sudden the damn fans start sounding like a helicopter like <laughs> heavenly father please clear the energy people be funny as fuck <laughs> oh my goodness yeah Let's see. Here. Yeah, y'all be mindful of people trying to do little stupid shit to ruin y'all day or whatever the hell it is as well. But let's get into this. Yeah, we got heavy Aries energy coming through. Mm -hmm. Holy Spirit. Yeah, y'all be mindful, fam, of people trying to fuck with your crown chakra. Also, it's like watch your thoughts because you know people be trying to mind fuck you. And then possibly why every time somebody walking past the mirror, it's like you stopping and you looking at this and this and that. And all of a sudden you see something wrong. Child, ain't nothing wrong. Somebody wants you to see yourself how they see themselves. Yeah, somebody don't have the, the utmost confidence in themselves. And so they want you to feel like that too, fam. Fuck these people. Yeah, and look, Ace of Swords at the bottom of the deck. That's the truth, child. Yeah, it's something to hear about feeling confined, constricted, things like that. Yeah, look, and then we get the Ten of Wands. Keep your vibrations high, fam, because if it is somebody playing around in your energy, that's what's going to return that shit to them. Ten times four, yeah. <laughs> but let's get back into this message. Holy Spirit, what is going on here? Yeah. Who is this that's thinking if they lose weight or if they look different, then their life would be different? Fam, come on. Yeah, it's giving a little depression. I don't have the cards out here, but you see how somebody right here is either crying or tired as hell. But it looks like being consoled. Somebody might be telling y'all soon that y'all need to get some rest. Someone has the strength of 10 men. I don't know what that means. Yeah, we got the ace of wands here to the four of pentacles. I clearly just heard, hold on, change is coming. 
Yeah, Six of Cups right here. Things gonna be going back to normal here. I don't know what's going on with you right now, fam. But it does feel like somebody is in like a really anxious energy. I don't, like I said, there could be something going on with like a child custody case or something like that. Fam, I do feel like somebody is gonna be getting their babies back. Yeah. Somebody might have tried to dominate the situation, but somebody here, you will be getting your babies back. But I do feel like everything will be returning to normal, whatever that means for you. I also see somebody right here. I don't know if you were in a shelter or something like that. It's just coming through, y'all. If you were in a shelter, you know you've been praying for a place for you and your babies or whatever, you're about to get a place. It might not be, you know, like your dream space, but it's going to be a roof over you and your baby's head. And it's going to be something you can call your own. You feel me? So, yeah. And shit, I'm, who is this worried about clothes, bro? These name brands don't make no difference. Children don't know the brands that they wearing. All they know is that my mama and my daddy got me some new damn clothes and shoes. Hell, yeah. I think it's weird, I, but you know what? I'm going to speak on this because I used to do it. I used to go out and cash out on my kids. Like, I'm talking about name brand everything. If it wasn't name brand, they wasn't putting it on their ass or their feet. Baby, let me tell you how fast kids grow. Spending $5,000 on shoes, and then in three months or two months or some shit like that, their feet done grew and they can't wear them shits no more. Uh-uh, I learned my lesson quickly. And then my middle one, you will swear she got teeth in the bottom of her fucking feet the way she run through shoes. So no ma'am, no sir. No ham, no burger, none of that. I was there. Yeah, the hangman right here. This is what I'm saying, fam. It's your thoughts that's keeping you in this um in the past, you know what I'm talking about? It's time to let that go, evolve from that, learn from that. I just heard learn from your mistakes. I don't know what that means to you. But most high saying learn from your mistakes. But you got to get out of your head. There has to be a change of perspective or something like that. Because your mind is what's keeping you stuck. Your thoughts right now are creating your reality, fam. So think, keep your thoughts positive. That is an interesting perfume. It smells really good. Does somebody make their own uh, perfume or something? Hmm. That's interesting. Four of Pentacles. Yeah, the sun card to the two of ones. You have to choose to be happy in whatever this situation is that you're going through. Some days going to be good, fam. Some days not so much. But you're going to have to learn how to balance that shit out. Because I see somebody that's having one hell of a time getting back up and getting back out there because of a certain situation. It's time to choose to be happy and get yourself unstuck, fam. I was scared the two of them. Yeah, the wheel of fortune right here. Every I see everything going in your favor. But the thing is, you have got to change the way that you're thinking about whatever this is. You have got to raise your vibrations. Like most I said, chosen when he didn't give you the, the spirit of fear. It's all about discernment. See what I'm talking about? Oh, it's yeah, the night of man, dang, that's a funky smell. If it, it smell like, I, oh my God, somebody got the worst gas. You know you're not supposed to be eating no dairy, no cheese. Oh, that was terrible. <laughs> I'm sorry, you already know, fam. Keep those vibes high so you can send this, this, this negative ass energy that keeps trying to infiltrate your space back to the depths of hell where it belongs. Because that shit was funky. And I ain't no damn dunny. Yeah. <laughs> Knight of Pentacles. Exactly. So it's like somebody here, it's like, I ain't gonna say that this stays on your mind all the time, but when that shit comes to your mind, it's like hard for you to get it off. Yeah. Ooh. 
I don't know who you are, but most high said he gonna he's providing the money for the car note. Yo. Hmm. Oh shit, what's the two of chemicals? Thank you. Oh shit. We get the devil and then we get the three of swords. That's what I'm talking about. Baby. Shake that motherfucking devil out. Yeah, get out of your feelings about whatever this is because there's a negative energy or a negative person around you that is really taking advantage of you being in whatever this vulnerable ass state is. So it's really time to make the choice to raise your vibrations so you can transmute the fuck out of whatever this energy is. Like, seriously. That's why spirit is like, hold on, change is coming. But you already know, fam, faith without work is dead. You have to do your part too. That them two cars just really pissed me off for some reason. Like they really made me mad. <laughs> like I got so upset. You know what this is? This is the enemy. See, this is how I know people be playing around in my energy. They be trying to at least, y'all. <laughs> it be funny as fuck to me. But they just, somebody just got really pissed off because I'm giving y'all, you know, advice on how to get them to fuck up out your energy. And what it, the things that I'm telling y'all, it's definitely going to work. Yeah, the devil going to be calling back his minions and everything else once you close your heart off to whatever this is. Because I'm telling you, the more you in your head about this, the more emotional you are. The more emotional you are, the more wide open your heart is to this. Which makes the enemy um, just want to creep on in. And they do a damn good job of setting up shops, setting up home. You know what I'm talking about? So the sooner you can get yourself up out of this, I mean, you know what I'm talking about? It ain't going to be no overnight process, fam. It's not. But shit, slow, slow and steady still win the fucking race. You know what I'm talking about? Sun card out here. You can't lose in this situation. But it's also up to you. It's up to you. Holy Spirit. What's the nine of pentacles? Honey, they really trying in this message. That's right. The nine of cups. They really trying. You know what I'm talking about? In this message. First, it was the music. I always listen to music in my messages. Why was it getting on my nerves so bad? You know what I'm talking about? Remedy, get the music out of my ear, put it on the TV. Same, same, same thing I always do. The fan want to start sounding like a helicopter. It's doing it again. That shit just gonna have to. It's just gonna have to do it. Cause I'm not finna let somebody sit up here and interrupt this message. I'm not. <laughs> you can't. <laughs> Yo. Oh, this weird. What's the name? I'm trying to put my right here. Yeah, to the star card. Amen. Everything will be restored, fam. But it's up to you to heal. Give yourself closure. You can have everything you want out of this situation, but you have to speak it into existence. I, I gasped for some reason. Yeah, fam, you know what? Whatever this situation is, it's like you're pouring more into this situation than you are into yourself. It's time to, to, to turn the tables on this shit. Pour more into yourself than into this situation and watch how things turn around for you. We got the sun card to the ten of cups out here to the will of fortune. Yo. You, somebody, if you see, if a red bird is very significant. It's either going to be really close to you or it's going to be, I don't know what, what it is about this red bird, but it's very significant. Holy Spirit, what's this red bird? The four of wands right here. Somebody right here, there's a red bird you're going to see and it's possibly uh, when you're out and about in your everyday life in your community. This could be even around your home. I don't know if somebody you going out to water your grass or you doing some gardening or something. You, If this is your message, you're going to see a red bird. It's time for somebody to get up, get out and get, get, get back into it. Get up, get out in the sun. Feel that sun on your skin and everything else. Somebody could have a vitamin D deficiency as well. Yeah. 
you know what? I don't know why this is coming up, but it's significant to me too. Y'all remember like the, the fruit baskets where they used to like carve the watermelons and carve the fruits into different shapes and shit like that. For some reason that's coming up. I don't know if that's like a hobby of somebody's or if this is something that you used to do. But I see that you love doing it. It brought you a lot of peace. Somebody here, you do something that brought you a lot of peace, but you haven't done it in a while because you're going through whatever this is over here. Spirit wants you to get back into that because that's going to help you raise your vibrations as well. I saw 2032. Yeah. There is something here about healing a, a, a family dynamic or a home situation or... Something like that. Yeah, because I'm hearing on the home front. Hmm. Oh, this is good. The seven of pentacles. That exactly. It's time for you to invest in yourself. Somebody else, you know what? It's time for you to uh I keep hearing switch up the tempo. I'm trying to ignore, but they just switch up the tempo, switch up the tempo. Okay. So this is also about recreating your space, making something yours again, fam. I don't know if this is like your home. Uh, somebody here used to keep your home really, really clean. And then it's like a lot of clutter and shit. This could even speak to one's mind. You know what I'm talking about? Somebody here used to be like a really free thinker, you know, like not never like overthinking. But it's a certain situation that has switched up a lot of shit. And spirit is like, look, rest easy. Get that to me. Let me sort it out. Get on with your life. Because what they're holding on to, whatever this is, it's not doing anything but breaking you even more. Which is allowing negative ass energy to, to fester, harbor. You know what? You know, like just uh, put down roots in your energy. Holy Spirit, what's the angel's Lord, sir? Okay. Oh, this is what it is. Okay, I get you. I got you. The Eight of Swords, what's on your mind? Five of Swords to the King of Cups. How could somebody do you the way the, that they did you? When all you tried to do was, was show this person, you know, the, the lighter side of things, the brighter side of things. Yeah. I heard some of y'all tried to teach this person. You have to understand, fam, that everybody don't have the same heart as you. Some people are brought into your life chosen one. You're going to have a lot of karmic energies that try to attach themselves to you because you are a chosen one. Because of your vibration. So, yeah. But this is about a karmic uh, masculine here. So, let's get into this. It's, it came through so late. 2255, I thought. I think I saw it. Yeah. It's like manipulation, mind games, things like that. Somebody could have put y'all in some type of third party or, you know, something like that. Hmm. Hey, why you have to do it like that? Yeah, the strength card, Leo energy right here. But I, you know what? The, the thing about it is what's on your mind. It feels like somebody is still so heavily attracted or like uh, have a lot of feelings for this person. And you're trying to figure out why somebody did you the way that they did you. Fam, you'll drive yourself insane trying to figure out why people act the way that they do. You will. Male or female. You will, you will drive yourself nuts. Because what I'm looking at right here is somebody that's very cold-hearted. Mm -hmm. It's like, I, I'm just... <laughs> fam, you can't make somebody love you. You know what I'm talking about? And you can't make somebody love themselves. You cannot. Bro, hurt people hurt people. So until whomever this is decides to heal... They going to continue to hurt you if you deal with them. They going to hurt everybody else that they deal with. Until this person is able to come out, you know, whatever they in, you know, defeat their own demons. They're going to steady and steady and steady pour negative energy onto the people that they connect with. Hmm. Holy Spirit. What's the Queen of Swords? Yeah, the Six of Wands right here. Some of y'all are going to have to step into that I don't give a fuck energy. 
with this person about this situation, something like that. It's a I don't give a fuck. What she say? Again, stop overthinking. These hoes can't fuck with you. You are a chosen one. Some of y'all are star seeds. You not you can't be getting in your feelings about mundane bullshit that people be doing. People be having demons of their own that they fight just because they don't look like it on the outside. That don't mean they ain't going through it on the inside, baby. Shit, have you ever had an apple that looked good on the outside and you bit that bitch and then it's kind of rotten on the inside? See what I'm saying? Same with people. Yo. Mm -mm. I heard you deserve... It's something here that... that you you deserve this. Not this bullshit that this person is putting you through, but it's something that most high it's like give this to me so I can give you this. You deserve this. Six of Wands. Hmm. Holy Spirit. What's the Queen of Swords? That's the seven of let go, let that bullshit go, fam. Because you blocking your own blessings here. you blocking your blessings. Somebody could be a cancer. You're blocking your forward movement. If this got something to do with a job, I, I, I just, I don't, I don't, I don't. I, hell, I see somebody starting their own business, to be honest with you. I see somebody starting, I don't know what this is about, a home. So I don't know if this is somebody who's starting to work from home. You know what, fam? Everybody got to start from somewhere. Everybody can't start at the top. You know what I'm talking about? Everybody got to start somewhere. We got the, the Knight of Pentacles out here twice. Just because things aren't moving as fast as you want them to don't mean it ain't going to happen. Love, life, career, family, whatever. Don't mean it ain't going to happen. Hmm. Yeah, they go to the cherry. That's what I'm talking about. Somebody is blocking their blessings, their uh, their own forward movement. It's time for you to actually. It's like block this shit out as much as you can and keep going. Now is not the time to give up, fam. Like real shit. Now is not the time to give up. I'm gonna tell y'all something. And we're going to bring this message all together because this is something her, it's all, it's a negative energy all up and through her. I don't give a damn if we just got that devil. This negative energy is radiating through every fucking part of your life. So 2757. There is a negative energy, whether it be like somebody throwing something at you, speaking on you, or this is a person in your life. The enemy sent all of this shit in to block you. But the thing about it is, can't nobody block you from your path but you. So whomever this is or whatever this is, it starts attacking your mind. That's why spirit is like, now nah, get this to me. That's why the change of perspective. I heard letting go of old belief systems as well. Whatever this is, it, you have to let this go, fam. Because the more you hold on to it, the more the enemy is going to attack you. Yeah, now is not, God, God bless you. Now is not the time to give up. It's, it's time to get up, get back on that horse, and gallop the fuck up out of her. Yeah. Somebody's getting a brand new home, a brand new car. I'm seeing money in the bank, all kind of shit. Yeah. Hmm. We get the five of pentacles right here. Yeah, <laughs> some of y'all, I don't know where you at. <laughs> I don't know where you live. But Spirit saying it's time to go. It's time to take a leap of fucking faith and go. Cause wherever you at right now, it ain't serving your it ain't serving your highest purpose at all. Nope, it's not. Mm-mm. Holy Spirit, what's the night of this for the gourmet shit? Somebody 
somebody has a garden. <laughs> like, now this is like a goddamn farm. Because <laughs> I see somebody on a tractor, like, plowing or something. I don't know what they do on tractors. Yeah, the Ace of Swords right here. <laughs> this is somebody, I don't know. Why, why are her pagan? What is pagan? I'm going to have to look it up. I, ain't it some type of religion or something? I don't know. I heard pagan. Yo, the knight of swords. I'm knight of Yeah, the knight of this to the ace of swords right here. Hmm. Holy spirit. Why is Some of y'all can really cook. You know what, fam? This is ridiculous because why are some of y'all working for other people when y'all know damn well that y'all got enough talent to go out here and make it, be entrepreneurs and make this shit actually happen? Because I see somebody that I don't know what is going It's like life is life in. Life is life in. And whomever this is that you waiting on an apology from, fam, stop waiting on them. Stop waiting on them. You know the truth about the whole situation. You don't need this person to come tell you a damn thing or give you closure. No. They, 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 they'll probably come and give it to you, but it's going to be on their damn time. So don't don't let this rule your mind. When is somebody coming or when are they going to talk to me or things like that? Who cares? You got better shit to be worried about, fam. Yeah, and when they do come, they ain't going to mean the shit. They just going to be appeasing you. They going to be telling you shit that they feel like you want to hear. That's it. Y'all yeah, see that fish in that damn cup? Also, if this is you that's wanting a baby, you're stressing yourself. You have to get your mind and your body on the same accord. But I do see somebody right here, you will be having a baby. But you have the more you stay in this five of pentacles mindset, fam, the longer it's gonna take for your blessings to come through. Yeah, the more you worrying about shit and you know, overthinking, that's the state you're going to be in. Because you feel like there's something missing when there's actually not. You just want things to happen on your time. And ain't shit going to happen on your time or mine. It's all about divine timing. And that's what somebody needs to realize now. Overthinking, stressing, it ain't going to do nothing but make your fucking hair fall out and your skin fucked up. Somebody also need to drink some water. That's going to help your skin a lot. Yeah. Somebody here, you have PCOS. And it's something about the uh, extra hair growth or something like that. Somebody's hair is also thinning. Girl, that's what they make wax and weaves for. The fuck? And then the right person ain't going to even be looking at that. See, that's what I'm talking about. It's too many aesthetic motherfuckers in the world, bruh. People be missing out on genuine people, like good people, like God sent people gifts because they not wrapped in the package that people think that they should be wrapped in. Let these motherfuckers miss out on the gift that's you. But don't degrade yourself, fam, or think of yourself as less than because motherfuckers don't see your work. You worthy. Most high finds you worthy. So who the fuck are these people? Nothings. I'm not saying that people are nothing, but when it comes to most high... We all are insignificant. You know what I'm talking about? So letting an opinion of somebody get to you or get in your head or some shit like that, nah, fam. Hell nah. People gonna hate on you whether you doing good. People gonna hate on you whether you doing bad, fam. You a chosen one. So you just gonna have to get used to being hated on, period. <laughs> Ten of Cups, Holy Spirit. The King of Swords, that's the truth. Some of y'all gonna unexpectedly go to the doctor. You gonna you got PCOS, right? You gonna unexpectedly go to the doctor because you're gonna be like, man, I don't know. Something just don't feel right. Like, I gotta go to the doctor. Like, some of y'all who are worried about medical insurance? Girl, go to the doctor. Go to the doctor. You gonna be fine. Go to the doctor. But anywho, yeah, like I was saying, somebody right here gonna go to the doctor like, oh man, you know, I can't, even when I drink water, like, I feel sick, I think I got the flu or something, nah, girl, that's pregnancy, you pregnant. Yeah, wishes are coming true, but you have to believe that they are coming towards you, fam. Real shit. 
Stand on the promises that Most High gave us. Like, seriously. He ain't failed you yet. You know what? And I'm going to say this. Most High ain't never failed us. He put, he, he put shit in our path to help us grow. When we feel like shit falling apart, it's not. It's not. And we like to say, you know, test. Or, you know, Most High test. It. It's not a test. Most High ain't going to test you. That's just a, 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 you know, to get you to understand what the fuck we saying. Most High ain't going to test you, baby. It's just about patience. That's it. Yeah, we got the five of wands right here. Holy Spirit. Yeah, to the emperor. Ooh, child. Your baby daddy ain't going to be doing nothing to nobody. Don't even get that in. Get that out your head. Your baby daddy ain't going to fight nobody that you come toward. Yeah, because somebody right here, they like, yeah, I'm watching you. And I'm, yeah, I'm going to, you ain't going to do nothing. Nothing at all. Nothing. You are highly protected. It ain't nothing your baby daddy, your ex, whomever this person is that's trying to threaten you. They can't do nothing to you, fam. Keep them vibes high. Especially if you pregnant. Don't be stressing out over none of this shit. Because your baby can feel all that. Ten of Cups, I was good. There you go, the lovers. Somebody got y'all out here. I don't know who this person is that keeps talking about. Ain't nobody gonna want you with them with them three kids, with them seven kids, the fuck they say. Yes, they are. And they gonna take care of each and every one of y'all asses. Fuck that. Who who is this telling you that? Ain't nobody gonna want you cause you 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 big. Ain't nobody gonna want you cause of this. Ain't nobody gonna want you cause of that. The fuck they say. <laughs> we got the emperor out here twice. With the lovers. Somebody gonna love everything about you that this motherfucker trying to make you feel insecure about. How about that? Yeah. Let these motherfuckers watch you. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, let them watch your ass walk away. But fam, for real, let's get serious. You gotta you gotta let you gotta let this mindset go. Because there's so many good things that most I have for you. See what I'm talking about? Let that bullshit fly. For real. But anywho, that's the message that I have for y'all. Hopefully it resonated in one way or another, fam. If it did, please hit the like button for me. Comment, subscribe, share, all that good stuff, y'all. Personal readings are open. If you're interested in the personal readings or the memberships, fam, all of that information can and will be found in the description box of the channel. It's always my pleasure, of course. Thank y'all so much for allowing me to read for y'all. I'm sending you guys loving, healing energy wherever you may be in this crazy-ass world, fam. And we will most definitely get back up.